Morning Year 2. So let's go through our speaking and listening, our reading and our phonics. This week I thought it's all about Australian. So your speaking and listening task is to speak like an Australian. So as it says on the board, G'day mate. Now you have on your pack the link to this. I'll just play it for a second and then you can have a quick listen. The universal language that all Australians understand. So just as a friendly way of saying hello. So, good day, mate. There you go. That's usually the response after you've seen someone and it really is inquiring how they are. How are you going? If you say something and you're trying to question Now I'm not going to show you them all because you can look at the link. But just have fun with your parents and practice speaking like an Australian. I'm just going to flick that off and then I can show you the next thing. You're reading this week. I have chosen a book for you on your bug club. It's called My Skateboarding Scrapbook. I've chosen this book because this week we're going to be thinking about a recount. This book is about a boy who likes to use his skateboard and it's quite a good choice I think because the spellings this week are the silent K and G. So we've got K-N as in knees, you don't hear the K. It's a non-fiction book. It's got a contents page, so I can look at the page that I'd like to find out. I might find out how to do some new tricks, so I could just press until I get to the page that I want to. So I'm gonna go all the way through. I know that it's on page 18, so I'm going to scroll through, keep on going, and let's have a look. New tricks. There's my date. Saturday the 17th of November. Today we tried to learn some skateboard tricks. First we did kick turns and then here are the instructions. One, stand with your back foot on the kick tail. Two, press down with your back foot. This lifts the front wheels off the ground. Three, turn your shoulders to make the board spin round. So have a read of that and then you can be thinking about your recount. You might also want to have a look at Voices in the Park by Anthony Brown or Where's My Teddy by Jez Albra or Dogger by Shirley Hughes. You may have some of those at home anyway or see if you can find a copy to listen to on YouTube. Okay, so as I said, your phonics are the silent K and G. You've got a sheet this week in your pack. It says, find the missing word. I suggest that you look at the words that you've got first. So I've got knife, no, nor, gnome, knitting, gnarled. I would do the words that I know first and then see what's left because some of the words are words that you may not hear very often. The first sentence, the old beep tree swayed in the wind. Oh, now that's quite a challenging one. So I might leave that one for a minute and read the next sentence. Mr. Jackson something sat by the pond looking jolly. Now I know that gnomes like to sit on a pond. So I'm going to find gnome. I'm going to circle it so that I know I've used it. And I'm going to write it into my sheet. And then as I carry on circling the words, I will find the missing word and that will help me to solve this week's phonics. You've got the silent K and the silent G. Your writing this week is to write a recount of your time in the infant school. 
remember to use those sequence of words such as first, next, after that, then, finally. I'll give you an example. In September, I started in Ash class. First, I got to know all of the children in the class. Next, we got into a routine of learning phonics, English and maths in the morning, and then topic work in the afternoon. Then, in the second half of the autumn term, we watched the teachers perform a Christmas play. After that, we had a visit from history off the page. Finally, the year was over and we got ready for year three. Now I'll be back in a minute, year two, with your topic work. Oh, I do this every week, don't I? We need maths as well. So, your maths this week is problem solving. It's time. So you have got a sheet in your pack. It's the power puzzle. It says, find your way from start to the finish by moving up, down, left, or right. You must only move to a time that is 20 minutes later than the one you are on. We don't have a clock in here year two but when you're finding the minutes you're looking at your long hand. We count in fives when we are reading the time. So if I said it's five past ten the long hand would be on number one. 20 past would be on number four. I'm starting here, four o'clock. What would be 20 minutes after four? Five minutes past, 10 minutes past, 15 minutes past, 20 minutes past. So I know that I'm looking for 20 past four. I can see on my sheet that it's below, so I'm going to just draw my arrow in. I've started at four o'clock and I've moved down to 20 past four. I've then got to count on another 20 minutes. So I keep 20 in my head, 25, 30, 35, 40 and so on. Have a go, you may need somebody to help you with this, but see how you go. See you in a minute, year twos. Bye.